Hey, what's up, fam? Um, hoping this recording works this time. Um, I am doing a video on how we got rid of uh, $72,000 worth of uh, student loan debt uh, in about, well, in a year, within a year, but it took about nine months. Uh, so here we go. Um, I'm going to try to stick to a little notes here in terms of how long I should be talking about each bullet point. So. All right, so the first one um, is our intro. <laughs> so welcome to the channel. If you guys have never been on this channel before, uh, name is Sara Levy. My wife is Tier. Um, so we live in Georgia, um, and we were in an apartment during this time frame um, where we were paying off this debt. Um, our rent was like thirteen forty for like a three bedroom. Yeah, Georgia is nice. So and before that, we were in. Um, in DC, uh, so one of the reasons we moved out of there was because of uh, paying um, so much. Uh, we're paying thirteen forty, I think, for like a one bedroom, and I forget what they called it, but in a den, <laughs> a den, <laughs> uh, basically one bedroom, bro. Um, but yeah, it was um, it was a um, blessing to be down here to be able to pay that little in, um, you know, um, rent. Um, so again, we paid off, uh, we're going to the next section, which is how much paid off, um, 72,000, I think a little bit over that with like, you know, some change, whatever, uh, for, um, those nine months. Um, and, uh, how did we do it? Um, so first, um, what we do, I am an engineer. Um, I work in security or cybersecurity and my wife is, at that point in time, um, she was a speech therapist. Um, so we were both working like two jobs. Um, she was doing like some side stuff and then um, she was doing like her main gig. Um, and then I was doing like, you know, three random jobs, man. Well, not random, but I was doing like my main job and then out of the side jobs I was doing just to try to knock out this debt a bit more. Um, and specifically with that, um, um, in terms of like just work in itself, um, I was doing some IT contracts here and there. And then I did um, work within like websites and stuff. So I would build like, you know, websites for folks. Um, I'm not a programmer by any chance, but I do know how to code. So I would just, you know, build some stuff like that. Um, and then um, I was doing teaching. So teaching was probably the thing that helped out the most in regards to knocking out this debt. So um, I was teaching Mondays and Wednesdays, and I was teaching uh, specifically Splunk um, to you know uh, engineers who were in the field or people who don't know nothing about um, IT, just teaching them how to use Splunk. And I did that within a uh, six month time frame, and basically I just helped them to learn and grasp what you know the tool is, because sometimes they would have it at work, but they wouldn't necessarily know how to utilize the tool, um, or uh, they would have messed with it or played with it before, but not necessarily be adept enough to be able to um you know say that they know how to use the tool so i did that um and we were charging like 2500 per student and that's gracious for six months some people charge like um uh, they'll they'll tell you you go out there see some people charge like five some people charge more um but and then if you take this one class for one class it's like 1500 so um uh, it's i mean the class is great you get everything there no shade there it's just that um some people can't afford that. So um, that's why we have things that, you know, that I do, uh, things such as what I do. So if you know how to teach in whatever field or whatever, you know, specialty you're in, um, market that and um, basically capitalize on that if you can. Um, consulting. So I did consulting for like uh, some random companies and stuff. So they'll ask me, you know, hey, can you help us with this? Uh, there's a um, company, which I'm going to try to figure out the name and I'll put that in the link, that basically hires you to give your uh, expertise on whatever tools you've done, and especially in IT. I mean, you can definitely find that elsewhere, but not only IT, clinical, um, there's many other different areas, um, you know, health and all that, that they'll look for, you know, consultants to just come in and just give their expertise or even just give a talk, right? Um, and then odd jobs. So I would do like random odd jobs, man. My team used to get on me for that. Um, so whether it's like helping move or helping do like some just random stuff. I didn't necessarily need to do it, but I still did it. Um, and that was 
that was helpful. Um, and then, um, again, T was doing speech therapy during that time. So uh, that also helped a lot. She did that full time at a school. And then um, after that, she was doing, um, and I got to double check with her. I think she was doing like some other side work or something like that, but um, ended up, you know, working out for us really well, um, as you can probably tell by the video. Um, uh, and uh, to add to that, um, uh, the income that we were bringing um, was not just like the it factor. I think cutting back is, you know, you guys can probably tell from many other videos like this was probably the biggest um you know um uh, factor that helped us to really knock out the 74 plus k um and debt that we had um so we cut back on having um two cars we had one car um we also had um um cut back on my loans because i have a lot more loans than she does um and we focused strictly on her loans, like everything that was typical going to my loans, shell it to hers. Um, and then once we started seeing like, wow, okay, knock that 10,000, knock that 20,000, knock that 30,000, 40,000. I mean, the numbers, it just to me, it was just like a motivator. It's like, oh, oh, you know, it's weird. <laughs> but yeah, it just, it felt, felt so good to just be, you know, getting close to being out of debt for her. Um, and I love that, you know, knowing because, you know, not in a selfish way because, you know, we're, we're a team, we're married and, her debt is my debt, and when she's out of debt, I'm out of debt. Um, so uh, now that we've tackled hers, um, I'm just gonna fully tackle mine. Um, we got rid of all our car payments, um, you know, prior to that, and um, you know, any cars that we bought after, we made sure that they were used and that they weren't like. I, th I think we try to stay um, below thirty thousand for sure. Um, I think my car that I even that I even drive now is uh, BMW 2012, but it's uh, I bought it for 10K. Um, I had 140,000, but I work from home, so I don't really have to go anywhere. <laughs> and uh, it's just like my luxury feel, but I don't, you know, I don't necessarily drive anywhere where it can, you know, rack up the miles, uh, but it still gives me that satisfaction to know, okay, I can um, sort of have my, you know, um, uh, you know cake uh, and have anything on the, on the sides. I'm probably saying that wrong, but anyway. Um, uh, let me see what else. Um, so what's next, right? So after you get out of debt, I don't think people actually really ever talk about that, like, you know, what that looks like. Um, when we got out of debt with Tierra's loans, I mean, that was exhausting. I mean, for imagine like nine months straight of just like, you know, holding back on spending, like, and I wouldn't say like we held back on everything, but we held back on a lot. Um, and to just see the loans drop was motivating, but then it's also like, dang, I got an extra, you know, 3K here, or whatever it is, like, oh, can I do this with it? But I was like, no, nah, you gotta, you know, attack these loans. But not only that, um, there were different things that people were asking us for and stuff like that, um, family members and friends and just people in general. And we gave when we felt led to give and we gave a lot, you know, but at the end of the day, we knew that uh, we still had to stick to our target. So, you know, we were, you know, very cognizant of that. Not only that, we cut back on spending for ourselves. Uh, we still took a vacation that year um, and that was during the summer, but um, I think we went to Aruba, but I think, I know Jamaica, but I think the best part of doing that was that um, we were already cutting back so much that yeah, I think we had gotten rid of like maybe forty or yeah, I don't know, like forty thousand then. So it just felt like man, this was needed. You know, when we get back, attack it again and let's go. Um, so yeah, um, you know, continuing with the next steps. Um, once we were finished, um, it was exhausting and I was tired and I didn't really want to like you know focus on paying my loans then. So we we sort of splurged a bit, went on vacations. And I think we went to Aruba and then. Now we went to Turks and Caicos, but um, now we're finally back to, you know, getting back on the grind again. And during all that time, you know, folks that needed help, we helped them. Um, and we also made sure that we put some savings aside. Um, we paid off like the car debt. Like right now we don't have any car notes or anything like that. Um, and we also have two houses now. So that was also something we wanted to, you know, 
build in terms of like investing in properties and stuff like that as well. Um, but now we also have renters who are actually renting that and, you know, that's actually paying for itself outside of maybe little fees here and there. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's looking good. Um, so that's one thing if, you know, you can look forward to once you finish paying off like your debt, um, that you can have many other, you know, avenues in which you can invest in and invest, don't waste your money, invest. Um, also invest in stocks. Um, I have a printing company as well that we have as well that um, is doing, you know, fairly well now, looking to scale it up. Um, and at the end of this year, we're hoping to, um, you know, purchase either our third home or maybe even next year, purchase our third home. You know, we'll see how it goes. Um, and then from there, we have other tra charities and stuff like that that we um, are looking to either invest in or start up. We have other people in general that we want to partner with as well. So once you get out of debt or start looking like you're getting out of debt, ugh, I mean, the doors just open wide. And, um, you know, it, it just it makes you feel so much better and so much freer um, to do what you really want to do. Um, so if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to hit me up. Uh, what I'm going to do now is just quickly share with you guys um, a couple of things that sort of help this. Uh, so Dave Ramsey, um, uh, you know, if you've never heard of Dave Ramsey, it's pretty much this guy that helps people to, you know, spend their money wisely and get out of debt. As you can see here, we're debt free, 40K paid in 23 months. I know Dave would probably be like, how the heck did you pay uh, 70K in, you know, nine months or whatever. But yeah, we were, yeah, we were doing some aggressive, aggressive um, uh, uh, spending, you know, well, aggressive debt pain, I should say. Um, this is our company, RBY Prints, you know, support us if you get a chance, uh, www.rbyprints.com. This is my company that I made, um, uh, Open Path US. So this is what I use to do like the little consulting gig. So a company may say, I need help to do this thing with your application that you use. Um, so I would basically, you know, help them out with building whatever that is through a site like this, Upwork or Craigslist or Facebook or Instagram, wherever it is, people or LinkedIn, they may need like a, a quick project here and there for somebody just to come and just do a consultation. Um, it's, it's so many times I've been hit up randomly on LinkedIn to say, hey, you know, can you help us to do this quickly? Uh, we'll give you X, Y, and Z per hour to do it. As you can see, um, it, it, it can pay pretty well. Um, and if you don't know the skill, learn the skill and get there. It's, it's not that hard. I mean, the main thing is you just got to really um, tell yourself that this is something that I want to do, something I want to be proficient on, and this is how I'm going to attack it. Um, so Upwork is one thing that really helped us, and of course, Dave Ramsey. Um, the other thing um, that research, um, there's a researching um, tool that basically uh, has where people contact you if you're uh, um, a principal, consultant, or you know somebody that really knows what they're talking about in regards to what you're doing. They'll contact you for that, ask you for your opinion and stuff like that. Um, I've only seen it within IT, but I think there are other areas in terms of clinical teaching and other areas where that can be really helpful. And um, they, they pay pretty well. I think it's like $200 per consultation. And it could be 30 minutes, it could be 45 minutes, it could be 10 minutes, it could be an hour. They pay you per hour, so 200 per hour. Um, but yeah, that is it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ping me. Um, you know, at uh, thelebbies at gmail.com. 